Hello, I'm Director Jamie Clover Adams. And I'm Chief Deputy Director Gordon Wink. Welcome to this special holiday episode of MDARD Presents Fun, Fun with, with Ag. Ag. And today we're going to be talking about Columbia. Shakira! Hips don't lie. I'm not touching hips. Gordon, did you know that Columbia is known around the world for their holidays and celebrations and how they showcase fireworks and dancing and other things, but most importantly, really good food and lots of it. Mmm, this sounds good. You know, and the cold weather that we're having here recently reminds me of a really good friend who has very fond memories of being in Columbia around the holidays. And whenever she'd go to visit her grandparents in Bogota, she really looked forward to that hot cup of Colombian hot chocolate. Hmm, what's so special about hot chocolate? Well, I think when you're a kid, the things that you love are made with love and chocolate. Hmm, seems like it'd be pretty simple to make though. You just take milk and chocolate, put it in a cup, throw it in the microwave, bing, bang, you've got hot chocolate. Not in Colombia. Hmm. It takes some pretty serious equipment, time, patience, and it doesn't hurt to have pretty strong forearms. So to make Colombian hot chocolate, you take milk and you pour it into your chocolate tara, and then you add a couple bars of sweet chocolate, and then you put it on the stove and you let it heat real slow and then you take your molinera and you froth it and you froth it real good three times and after the third time it's ready. Ooh, I bet that'd be good with a donut. Well actually in Colombia they have serve hot chocolate with bread and cheese. Bread and cheese? You eat ketchup on popcorn. Mmm, just like mom used to make. Indeed. But you know, Gordon, if you want to make Colombian hot chocolate here in Michigan, you're probably going to have to order the equipment off Amazon or something like that. But you will never be far from good Michigan dairy products like milk and cheese. Did you know that we have almost 2,000 family-owned dairy farms in Michigan, as well as 88 dairy processing plants that make the milk and the cheese, as well as ice cream and yogurt and sour cream and butter? But what about ketchup? We make ketchup here in Michigan as well. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Fun with Egg. Happy holidays, and we'll see you next week. Shakira!